Hello and welcome back to our video series on your PLR makeover. Now remember there are several ways to accept payments to your newly created masterpieces. You've got your two checkouts, you've got your PayPal's, heck even Google's got his fingers in the payment processing pie and there are several others too. But PayPal is one of the most popular and easiest to use plus it's free to get an account. So in this video we're going to take you step by step all the way from creating your plain or even customized buy now button all the way to adding it to your mini site. So let's take a gander and see how it's done. Now go ahead and log into your PayPal account and I'll get there in just a second. But the basic process here if you're really really new to this is that on your sales page you have your payment button and your customer will click on that payment button it will direct them to the payment processor and in this example it's going to be PayPal they then put in their credit card info or pull money from their PayPal account and then pay you Then once that money has been secured and been verified then in most all cases PayPal will automatically direct you to the download page or as in this case the thank you page or whatever we're going to change it to when we will uh, whenever we upload this to the website um, now let's go ahead and change the name here from thank you to oh just a few arbitrary letters and just so we know which one this is we'll put the THNKU there in the middle and then a couple of numbers, a couple more letters and that is very difficult if not impossible for any of the knucklehead slash would-be thieves out there to take your stuff so now then just click anywhere on the page here and that is our new page to the thank you page or to the download page for your customers now I haven't heard anything about this in quite some time frankly I haven't done a lot of digging about it but back in the day a while back anyway I was under the impression that with PayPal they had some issues if the direction the automatic redirecting the customer to the payment page if that payment page ended in something other than .php sometimes there was an issue sometimes there's a problem so what I did was I went ahead and in most all of the active payment pages I had with PayPal I just went and changed them all to PHP there is no recoding no redoing of anything just clicked on this selected it and changed whatever the extension was here HTM or HTML I just changed it to PHP that was it and you want to go through that and yes thank you and that's it I mean because you're only changing the extension and for the most part I don't want to get into the long try not details about this but for the most part this does not affect the interior of your document at all uh, it just makes it a little more add some more flexibility add some more uh, functionality to it if you have some PHP coding inside of this page but that's all I need to say about that basically the way I understand it is that a while back, and I don't know if it's changed or not, but a while back, PHP, prefer, I'm sorry, that PayPal prefers that the payment page you are redirecting the customers to ends in PHP. There, hopefully that was said enough. And I mean, it only took me five minutes, right? So this is now our thank you page. So the URL to this, if we open up a document, a text document, just to show you what it looks like, it'll be HTTP and I believe if we were to get the domain oh, let's say your domain dot com and it would be forward slash because we're going to upload all of these files to our domain here in just a second I'm just copying that name right there this would be the URL to take your customer to the download page right here so when asked in uh, PayPal whenever we're creating our button where would you want your customers to be directed to upon successful payment bam that's it right there so I'm gonna go ahead and just get that in my clipboard now let's go ahead and head on over to PayPal log into PayPal head on over to and, and they just changed the look again for crying out loud what was wrong with it before but anyway evidently a lot of people you know made some comments to them about how they could make it better um, frankly if it ain't broke don't fix it that's my two cents worth but once you've logged in a lot of this stuff remains the same as far as the actual location you come on up here to merchant services come on down here to buy now button now of course there's a lot of different ways this can be done you can come on down here and do a lot of navigating elsewhere but the end result is going to be what we're looking for and 
right here step one accept payments for products or services or whatever 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 we're gonna go with products and this is gonna be a digital download so okay um, a lot of the stuff is going to be referring only to digital downloads versus a physical product. So if you've got a physical product you're selling, it might be a little bit different. But this is for digital downloads, just so keep that in mind. Do you want your customers to buy multiple items? Nah, just the one. Item name. Is that right? How to guide for web design. And this would be in case you've got some kind of an accounting system going or a an inventory system going and you have a number assigned to your particular product or item number price we're gonna go with what do you want 17 bucks looks good to me listen in with that just like that no dollar signs required choose the currency if it is not US then you got your drop down there or drop up as it was in that case now then as far as the customization of the button you can this is the way it is right now this is how it will show up right now now you can customize it further by hitting the drop downs in here uh, you can even add your own button now what I suggest is as far as the adding of the of your own button use your own button image right here if you were to click this go ahead and upload the image that you have for your button upload that to somewhere on your uh, on your server and then you just copy the URL to that image of the button and put it right there. It's that simple. In which case then, now I never have, been, whenever I've done that, I've never had the actual image show up over here. The only time I have the image show up over here is if it is the non-customized, if it is the PayPal button. So however you want to do that, it's really that simple. I mean really to have your own image in there, just upload it to your server, uh, click on this, put the absolute URL to that image right in here, and you're good to go. So for the time being, though, that's what we're going to go with. But at least ways now you know how to add your own image. Come on down here. Shipping? No shipping. No, nope, we're not going to worry about that because it's digital download. Secure merchant account ID. Plain text. Let's go with the secure merchant account ID. And just leave it at that. Usually that's going to be the default anyway. Go to step two. Usually there's not a lot in step two. Save button by at PayPal. Ah, leave it ticked. Track inventory, totally up to you. I never do. Track profit and loss. Hopefully it's only profit. And then come on down here and of course these items that are grayed out will come into light if you check one of the appropriate boxes up here. But we're not, so they didn't. Then on to step three. This is where you get the URL for your download page or thank you page. If you are an advanced user, you can customize, check out pages for your customers, yada, yada, yada. Do you want to let the customers change the order quantities? No. Can your customer add special instructions or messages to you? Sure, why not? And do you need your customer's shipping address? No. Again, we're looking at digital downloads. We're not shipping them anything, so check no. And right here, check this box. Take customer to a specific page. Now, don't get these two mixed up, okay? This could be a problem if you do, so don't get it mixed up. After checkout cancellation. So if they get uh, cold feet and they just don't want to go through with the process of paying for whatever reason, then send them to whatever page you want. Ideally, this is just my suggestion, send them back to the main sales page. Or if you have another site or another uh, FAQ or frequently asked questions page. Again, put some thought to this. You can always come back and add the button later once you get a little more confidence under your belt as to how to create and add PayPal buttons to your sales pages. But I always have them go back to the main sales page. That's what I do there. You can just put whatever you want in there. And here is where you would take them to your download page. Take customer to a specific page after successful checkout. And this is where that PHP link would go. Right here. Paste that in there. So that is the download or thank you page that they will be automatically directed to after a couple of seconds once the payment has been uh, verified. Advanced variables, power users, yada, yada, yada. Don't mess with that. I don't anyway. And if you do, well, then more power to you. Create the button. And that's how easy it is, folks. Go with the website right here. Again, that's how it's going to look. And select code. You can click on that. And that highlights everything. Or you can right click in here, go to select all, and then go to copy. But it looks like it's already all selected. And 
can create more buttons if you like, or and this one's going to be saved, which is cool. So now, now then let's go ahead and open up our composer and go add this button. Okay, we've got our index page open inside of our composer, and we're in the normal view here. So let's scroll on down where we put that box for our PayPal button, kind of a placeholder, and right there we go. So that's where our button code is going to go, but we cannot paste it here. It wouldn't work. It would look kind of silly. We need to go to the source code, so click on that tab. Now we need to navigate down to where that bad boy is at. And I tell you, sometimes it's just not that easy to find like so. So here's what I do. Of course, you can always find it right here. Payment button goes here. Okay, but if you didn't want to go through that hassle and you know maybe you didn't know exactly where to look, what you can do is put a whole bunch of a one-letter thing in there. I just held my finger on the V button and just print them all out there. Then go to the source code. Now it makes it a little bit easier to find. Took us right there. Slapped it right in the middle of our page. Then, once those are highlighted, right click and paste. And this is the code that we just copied into our clipboard from PayPal. Come on back here to the normal view. And there it is. Now these here are just tags, but this is what is going to show up in the browser window. And if we go to preview, it should work just fine. There we go. And this now will take your customers. Oh, I guess we should have charged 37 instead of 17. But this will take your customers to PayPal where they can make their payment and then will be automatically while you're sleeping or at the beach playing or wherever you're at, it will automatically take them to your download page and everybody's happy. And of course, your back end sales that you attached if you did to your thank you page might generate some additional income or increase the size of your subscriber list if you added a squeeze page link on on that uh, thank you page and that's it folks that's how easy it is I mean by the time that it took me to explain all this you could have probably made two PayPal buttons so that's how easy it is and the more you do this the more experienced you're gonna be the more confident you're gonna be and the easier it's gonna be for you just to slap these bad boys on your sales pages left and right I wanna thank you very much for watching this video hope you learned something have a great day